Do you know most people will never experience financial freedom? Ever wonder why that is? On this path of life, there's a certain amount of mistakes that I've seen people make along the journey that I wanna be able to share with you today that most people never talk about. So today's video is around 10 crippling mistakes to getting yourself or delaying yourself to financial freedom. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and I'm excited to help you not make the same mistakes I did and most people do that the laser actually never allows them to experience financial freedom. So with that, let's jump in. So the first mistake most people make is when they start making more money, they actually increase their lifestyle. How many of you are victim to this? You make more money and you take a vacation or maybe you upgrade your car, maybe you upgrade your home, your wardrobe. We all do it from time to time, but the number one killer is if you're consistently doing that, if you're consistently actually increasing your lifestyle to keep up with the Joneses, right? We've heard that term before, keep up with the Joneses. I see it all the time with people. They wanna make sure they have the nice house, a nice car. They don't know how to delay gratification. So the first mistake is trying to increase your lifestyle when the money is increased. We don't wanna do that. The second mistake is most people when they make more money, instead of investing, they actually spend money on their interests. You wanna make sure you're not spending money on your interests, but you're investing. One of the key strategies that my wife and I, when we're out and about and doing our life, we always ask ourselves when something comes upon us, is this a want or is this a need? And it helps us clearly define where we are because sometimes we have that desire to go, you know, take a trip here and when we don't really need to, or to go buy X, Y, Z. How many of you have gone to Costco and spent less than $100 on your trip? It's damn near impossible, right? So it's like every time we go to Costco, we're asking ourselves, is that a want or is that really a need? So you wanna make sure you avoid spending money on wants versus needs. Don't entertain your interests. Make sure you're investing in the things that are gonna help you become financially free. Number three is most people, they don't double down on the skill that they have that's helping them start moving towards financial freedom. What does this mean? Well, for example, I remember when I was in network marketing and I was making roughly around $1,000 a month, I had a mentor in there that was talking to me one day and we were talking about how I was thinking about building out websites and learning internet marketing and all that great stuff. And what he said was, he's like, what if you took that same energy and got better at network marketing and watch how fast your income would double, triple, and quadruple and beyond? And I never thought about it like that. And so we're gonna spend our energy somewhere. Stop trying to build one thing and then go build something else because if you put that same energy in number one as you do number two, you'll have twice as much energy. You'll have twice as much momentum in what you're doing. So if you're thinking about, hey, here's where I am, I'm making decent money, but I'm gonna jump over here right now where I think I could start building something else. Well, if this one isn't rolling and printing money, you wanna double down on that skill until it is at a point where you can walk away from it and it's printing money or you can place someone in there. So the third mistake is most people don't double down. The fourth mistake is they stop working with a coach or a mentor who's helped them get to where they are. See, most people as they start having success and they start climbing that ladder financially, what we tend to do is we start to get comfortable. We start to get really comfortable in the lifestyle we have because maybe we increase our, you know, our lifestyle. And so we get so comfortable versus really stick it to the game plan of creating financial freedom. So what I would encourage you to do is stick with your coach, stick with your mentor. If you have to get change it up, go get a new coach, go get a new mentor. Absolutely. We have coaches here that can hold you accountable at Master Life by Design. That's a big deal. When you don't have accountability saying, hey, you're living good, but you're not there yet. If you don't have someone doing that, most people will make this mistake and just stay comfortable versus continuing on to their path of financial freedom. Mistake number five is they allow their ego to catch up with them. What do I mean by that? They start looking down on people. They think they're higher on the totem pole than they actually are. They think they're better because they make more money or they have a better title or they have a bigger following. And so the ego is so damaging on your path to financial freedom because those people 
people that are helping you get there or those situations that are helping you get to your path of financial freedom, you might be changing their heart on how they see you or that lens that they look at you from. And you might start severing those connections that you have. And we all heard the saying before, your net worth is in direct proportion to your network. And if you're destroying those relationships, then you're not gonna be able to continue building that audience or building that business or building that customer base the way you did in the beginning. And I always like to say, never forget where you come from and never forget who helped you get to where you are today because they are the people that you wanna honor on your journey. So don't make this mistake here. Mistake number six on the path to financial freedom is we get too emotional. We allow our emotions to overtake us. And while that can sometimes be a good thing when we're celebrating, in this situation, it's not because I've seen it all the time. People, we talked about increasing their lifestyle. People would start making more money. They're having great success. They go out to Vegas and they they go out and spend twenty five hundred dollars on a bottle for bottle service. They spend five thousand dollars on a you know cabana for a pool party. And next thing you know, they spent fifty grand that came in that month. So they made fifty grand. They spent fifty grand, and now they're just broke. And so the emotions get the best of them. That delays their success. Also. What else happens is we start getting a certain level of success and now we allow fear to creep in. I see this all the time with clients. Fear creeps in. They're afraid they're gonna lose it all. This long journey they've been on, they're afraid they're gonna lose all their money or what they did, their audience or their business that got them to where they are today. And so they start making decisions about their future from a position of fear. And as Tony Robbins says, a decision made from fear is always the wrong decision. You wanna make sure you have an objective opinion around your financial future and the path and the decisions you're making along that path. You can't allow emotions to get you caught up because emotions change all the time. And if you've ever been around someone who where their emotions are just kind of swinging like you know the arm of a clock right a grandfather clock right and it's like you never know who you're going to get that day that is not a recipe for success in business or on your path to financial freedom mistake number seven is they jump to the next shiny thing while it's important on your path to financial freedom to have multiple income streams which we'll talk about here in a little bit but they jump from one thing to the next and they have that shiny object syndrome now it's important to be flexible as you're moving forward on your path to financial freedom, but most people, they actually say, oh look, here's this great opportunity and let me go learn this and let me go do this and let me start this. And the problem is they never reach their goal. And so there, I gave this great analogy to a client before, but what they're doing is they're on this, they're on the mainland and they're trying to get to this island over here. And what they do is they build a bridge halfway. And then they stop and they walk back and they go build another bridge to the other part of the island and they build it halfway and they stop. Most people with the shiny object syndrome have many bridges halfway built and they have none fully built. You want to make sure, and I've, I've talked to billionaires, I've talked to multi-millionaires before, and what they do best is they build one bridge to the island, they have their success, they create financial freedom, then they go back and start building more bridges. They don't build multiple bridges halfway done they build one complete one, then go back. Mistake number eight is they don't invest in multiple streams of income. Now, what I will say is, when we're talking about multiple streams of income, there gotta be passive income streams, right? Because you might be building a business or you might be working a job and you're building that bridge to the island, but you can also make sure that you're investing. Maybe it's in the stocks or a company that has dividends that it's paying. Maybe it's real estate, you're helping someone fund a deal and you can create passive income that way. You wanna make sure that you're funding your investments along your journey. And sometimes that even means funding your business in the marketing or advertising so that you can go to that next level. So you gotta make sure that you invest along your way to financial freedom. Number nine, this is a big one, is they stop dreaming. Most people on their path, they have this destination, but they stop dreaming. They stop losing the vision that they had for their life. They start putting these limitations on themselves, saying, I can only go to here, but I can't go any further. And we box ourselves in to say, here's this kind of, this degree of success that I can have or amount of money that I can have. And if I try to go outside of it, it's a no-go. So I'm just gonna settle, I'm gonna say, this is a good life, this is what I'm gonna take, this is my slice. And I want you to know, that's BS. You can have more, you need to learn to dream bigger. One of the biggest things I do with clients and holding them accountable, and even for myself and you know guys in, in my church and people that are in my mastermind is I challenge them to dream bigger. 
because it costs you nothing to dream bigger. But it'll cost you everything if you don't. Most people stop dreaming on their path to financial freedom and that's why they never reach it. And they miss out on an incredible life and lifestyle that they can have and the people that they can bless and the things that they can do and the charities that they can give to. Don't allow that to be you. Which leads me to point number 10. And that is they stop giving. It's a spiritual law. I said this in other videos. When you give, the law of sowing and reaping, when you give, you will receive. And so most people, they stop giving. They stop blessing other people. They stop helping other people because they're so fixated on them. And as I said earlier, it's coming from a position of fear because they allow their emotions to get into them. And that's because they allow their emotions to get the best of them. So I would invite you that if you're on your path to financial freedom, make sure you give. Give your time, give your money, give your, your skill set to people, give your blessing and wisdom to others, and watch how it comes back to you. Most people neglect this one because it's so easy, and it's so easy to get caught up on them, in themselves that they don't think about blessing others along the way. They're saying, I'm already doing that you know, with helping them with this product or this service that I'm doing, but going the extra mile never, ever have I seen that not pay off for someone. If I was you, my invitation to you is go the extra mile on everything that you do. Go the extra mile for the people you work for. Go the extra mile for the people that work for you. Go to the extra mile for your clients. Go to the extra mile for yourself. And that is such a huge principle that most people miss on their journey to financial freedom. Now, I was really excited to make this video because these are some of the things that actually prevented me and delayed me from my financial freedom. Yes, my family, we can live you know, the way we want. We have financial freedom and there's different levels and I'll make a video on the different levels of financial freedom that you get to experience. But what I will say is I remember when I was younger and I was 30, $40,000 in credit card debt. I was living in Southern California I didn't have you know my own place I lived with six other people I was so broke and I had such a big dream of it, and I just dreamed all the time about financial freedom but I always sat there and I wondered is this really gonna happen for me can this happen for me I would look around and say look at my environment look at my situation that I'm in how can I ever get out of this I feel like I'm buried under debt and under circumstances that are out of my control and the truth is it's always in your control you're always at cause in your life. Stop living life at the effect because that's how I was. I was a victim and I was making a lot of these mistakes that I just shared with you. I stopped dreaming at one point. I wasn't giving. I didn't double down on my skills. I would use that shiny object syndrome and I'd jump from one thing to the next to the next. If you would have known me or maybe some of you watching you did, you're just laughing because you're like, yep, Joe would, you know, over here and over there and all over the place. I made these mistakes and it delayed the lifestyle that I have now and the lifestyle that we're creating to that next level for my family. So my biggest reason for making this video so that I can help give you a shortcut in full time. Now, if you're like, Joe, you know what? I'm piled up in debt. I don't know what to do. I'm trying, I'm feeling stuck. Or maybe you're like, you know what? Maybe you're not in debt. Maybe you just, you can't seem to get out of this path. You're living good, but you want great. And you just don't know how to do it. Maybe getting a coach would help support you on your individual area. So if that's you, go ahead and reach out to support at masterlifebydesign.com. We'll be able to reach out to you and figure out how we could support you best on the journey. So with that, make sure you take inventory and look, what are you doing out of these 10 mistakes towards financial freedom? Which ones are actually delaying your financial freedom? See, we're all meant to have that lifestyle. We're all meant to have financial freedom. There's no reason why we can't. The marketplace is way too big and you deserve financial freedom. You deserve to consciously live the life that you want and the lifestyle you want. That's what this channel is all about. So I encourage you to move forward. I'm cheering you on. And if you need help, reach out so we can help with that. So with that, guys, hope you found value in this video. Make sure you subscribe. You can give it a thumbs up and leave an awesome comment below. But most importantly, subscribe. Put on that notification button so that you can know when we come out with all these great videos. We love to hear about your success on your journey. So make sure you comment below. And with that, hope you guys have an outstanding rest of your day. Enjoy Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. See ya.